Good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday, August the 4th, 2023. Thank you for being here this afternoon with us as we continue praying the Anglican cycle of prayer daily office for this week, noonday prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. And so today, as our rubric tells us, that we can select even Psalms between 120 through 133. So today I would like to, uh, for us to pray together Psalm 129. And in the Book of Common Prayer, that is on page 784, Psalm 129. Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth. Let Israel now say, Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowmen plowed upon my back and made their furrows long. The Lord, the righteous one, has cut the cords of the wicked. Let them be put to shame and thrown back, all those who are enemies of Zion. Let them be like grass upon the housetops, which withers before it can be plucked, which does not feel the hand of the reaper, nor the bosom of him who binds the sheaves, so that those who go by say not so much as, The Lord prosper you. We wish you well in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intentions before the Lord. Let us pray for the sick. Comfort them in their suffering, dear Lord. Be with them. Be by their bedside. Be with those who care for them. Dear Lord, work through the technology, through the minds of those that you have given the, the skill to navigate disease and illness so that they may heal in your tender time and in your tender way. Give hope to the oppressed, dear Lord. Give hope to the poor in spirit. Guard us against all evil. Be our light in darkness and our hope in times of desperation. Remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom. As we move through the world, show the world you move through us. Keep us faithful to your teachings and never let us be parted from you. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sisters and brothers, have a wonderful day. Join us again tomorrow, Saturday morning.
August the 5th, as we continue with the daily office, morning prayer this week. Monday, we will pick up with evening prayer. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. God bless you.